Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is going to be a general collective reading for January the 6th. I am going to be doing the individual zodiac sign reading still. Don't worry, this is just my way of kind of hopping back into things um, after I've had my newborn, okay? So, um, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, I do have, ooh, okay. I do have a sale going on right now for personal, so for those of you who are interested, um, that information is down below, okay? look at your overall energy here <clears throat> okay you have the knight of wands as your overall so we have sagittarius energy here with this card um you got the queen of cups showing up there's an expression of emotion coming in okay it's not clear to me if this is from like a romantic partner from a past partner from a friend a family member whoever um could be a cancer okay we got cancerian energy with the queen of cups you have the ace of cups showing up as well water cancer pisces and scorpio um and then you have the chariot showing up i feel like it could be emo an emotional time um january 6th could be an emotional time an emotional day we have two cancer cards and the ace of cups is um just plain water cancer pisces scorpio uh this is the one world tarot that i'm using right now um and the one that i'm about to clarify with is fairy tale tarot okay so what's going on with the queen of cups energy here judgment judgment okay um Scorpio and Aries energy showing up here. What else do we have? Page of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the hair font. We've got Taurus. Hmm. Someone has made up a lot of rules in their head. Okay, there's someone here who has been kind of boxing themselves off. This could be you, it could be someone else. Um, but on January the 6th, I feel like somebody could be coming forward here, okay? It's time to make a decision. It's time. That's what judgment is here. Somebody's making a final call on something, and they're going to be moving quickly once they do, okay? So this could be you moving on. We got the chariot here. Could be you, uh, moving on. Absolutely. Um, could be you expressing something to someone, but there's been, like, hesitancy here, uh, on someone's end with this page of swords energy somebody has been like watching waiting like when's the right time what's the right thing to say um and again they've created a lot of rules in their head so whenever something comes forward i feel like there could be a lot of like mystery to whatever it is that's being said here like somebody's being too subtle like they're tiptoeing around um what it is that they truly want to say they're trying to say something without saying it it's very weird um what else do we have going on here with this <clears throat> Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's truth. There's a message coming in on January the 6th. Um, let's see what else we have here. Six of Swords. Could be somebody who lives at a distance here. Um, but it feels like this is someone that you are actively trying to move on from. Um, or they're trying to move on from you. There could have been a marriage involved here. Some kind of commitment involved. Or you thought you were going to be committed to this person. Um, you could have just seen them as like the end all be all here and you know something blew up here something happened um like something shifted very quickly with that knight of wands energy the hermit and they could have gone ghost um but i feel like they've been reflecting on it they've been thinking about it the whole time okay whoever this is it could be a virgo they've been thinking about it the whole time you got a lot of air and water energy here um i feel like if you have uh you know a lot of air or a lot of water in your chart gemini libra aquarius cancer scorpio pisces this message could definitely be for you like a message or a phone call coming in on the six like somebody has reflected a lot i feel like there's a lot they're expressing but it's like there's what they they know what they want to say directly and they're not saying it for some reason that's another reason that i think this hair font uh could represent a commitment or a marriage they're scared of what's going to be held against them so Ace of Cups. What's going on with this Ace of Cups here? Seven of Wands. Um, someone feels shut out. They feel blocked out. Um, you could have, like, you could be in separation with this person for like seven months now, seven weeks, maybe just seven days. Um, but it feels like this person has a lot of emotion um, bubbling up here. 
I feel like they're a lot more bothered than they're letting on. That's what that is. That's what they're tiptoeing around. They're very, very bothered by this separation with you. The Ace of Cups, that's emotions overflowing. And while that can be seen as a very positive card, it is a very positive card. Um, you know, emotions don't always feel good. Sometimes that can be like, you know, just overflow of, you know, ups and downs, right? Ace of Wands, okay? They're going to spark up a conversation here. I don't know how they're doing this. A magician, they're, they're, they've they're tried to call you in first, okay? So if you've had dreams about this person, if they've popped into your head after you've not thought about them in a while, they're, they're trying to call you in. They're trying to manifest you in. What's going on here? What else do we have? It could be a Virgo or a Gemini. You might be a Virgo or a Gemini. Ace of Cups is showing up. Um, yeah, they're trying to get you to feel what they're feeling. But that's kind of impossible because you've had two separate experiences here in this situation, especially considering um, the amount of court cards uh, present here. Because you had that Page of Swords show up under the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there are, you know, I feel like there's other involvement here. You know, they, they feel restricted on some level. Page of Cups, there's another court card. But, you know, it's, when it comes to this deck here, there are court cards with genuine people, and then there are court cards um, that look like this, you know. And <clears throat> I feel like this person, whatever it was that they said to you, pages are messengers, whatever it is that they're saying to you, like there's something underneath that. Like they're, they're not being totally genuine here. They're dressing something up. They're making it something more innocent than what it is. Three of Cups. Because they, they want a reunion here. They want a reunion, absolutely. The lovers... The lovers? <laughs> the three of cups? Yeah, they want a reunion, absolutely. But I think they're involved in something else. Could be a Gemini. You might be a Gemini. But three of cups can also be friendship. So they could be coming towards you with an offer of friendship. But the lovers showing up here, it's not exactly what they really want. Um, you know what they really want here. And they know what they really want. But they're sidestepping around that. <laughs> because they're tied up in something else and they don't know what to do. You have the chariot here. What's going on with the chariot? on January 6th for the collective here. Again, I feel if you have a lot of air or water in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, this message is more likely to be for you. There's just a lot of that energy here. You have the Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is something that you've moved on from very, very slowly, or you're like it's a, moving on from it is a slow process. So this is going to be a tricky thing uh, for this to come back up. However, I feel like it's been reflected on for a long time. King of Wands showing up here. This has been a plan of this person's for a long time. Um, you know, since like since this took place here, uh, to try to come towards you with some kind of offer. It's not clear to me why they've not left this uh, situation here. Why they not left this situation? Justice, legal involvement. I mean, it, this could be a marriage. It could be children. Um, you know, it could be assets like property tied up with. Yeah, I mean, I feel like this person just feels like it could be a hassle to break away from this, to, to move away from this. It would just take so long and it would take so much money, so much time, so much, um, you know, out of them emotionally, especially if they have families, especially if they have children, which uh, you have a lot of pages here. So they could definitely uh, have children. OK, um, what pages do we have exactly? They could have water sign child, uh, air sign child. OK, um, Let's see what else we've got here for this. But you feel like moving on is the right thing to do. And I think that you are correct um, about that. But they've got a vision for the two of you. And the emperor showing up here. Um, they just feel like they have other responsibilities, duties, obligations. Um, some of you, they are tied up in something legal that's not uh, another person. Some of you, they're tied up in something else involving family here. Uh, or involving money, and they're trying to close that out before they make any kind of move uh, towards you here. But they've, you know, it's always been on the brain to, to do that, to make a move towards you here. Um, but I feel like this is something that you have been, like, slowly trying to move forward from, slowly trying to process and make sense of, you know, maybe you had mapped out plans with this person, and you're having to completely reroute, right? Um, we got uh, Libra Energy here, Aries, uh, Gemini. Leo, Virgo. Eight of Wands, yeah. 
I really feel like for a lot of you, you know, you have that Six of Swords, you have the Eight of Wands, you have the Chariot. I really feel like for a lot of you, this person could live at a distance or they've moved or, you know, I mainly feel this energy with, with the movement as you, you know, moving on from this, but it feels like it's something that's taken a lot out of you, um, whether it's time or just energy or just, you know, uh, a lot of emotion went into this. Um, but a message or a phone call, uh, either or, could be coming in. From this person again i feel like they live at a distance so for a small portion of you they might travel they might travel towards you they might run into you and that could be what sparks up this conversation um but yeah so that could be a clue to some of you they might live at a distance or they moved um but if that's not the case it's just a simple fact that the two of you are distant is why those cards are showing up the chariot the six of swords um the eight of wands and even the lovers on some level because there's distance between these two figures it's like they're so close but so far away you know it's like that he that he or she feels like they can connect to you but uh they're not able to you know they're not able to for some reason they feel wrapped up in something else or they feel like they look a certain way to you they feel like they look chaotic they feel like they look messy coming towards you um you know in a certain manner so i think it's taken a while for them to try to pull things together however i feel like they're still in some kind of mess that you don't need to be involved in because it looks to me as if you're in a space where you're trying to level up some kind of victory happening for you because the cherry isn't only movement it's also victory um success triumph you know triumph over obstacles and this person is an obstacle they're an obstacle absolutely they are um so yeah i feel like there needs to be fast movement away from that especially since there's some kind of betrayal um you know in the mix here yeah eight of swords i mean five of wands i mean come on right because that knight of wands um again fast movement away from this seven of swords energy seven of swords is trickery theft deception they're going to drain you absolutely they're going to tie you up the way they're tied up in this situation and the cycle is going to repeat here five of wands competition conflict strife four of wands this person is definitely married for a lot of you but for others of you this is what they're going to restrict you from this is what they're going to tie you up you know from achieving from having six of wands some of you it's success in career success in um you know finances but for a lot of you that four of wands is the success in love the home and even the six of wands a lot of readers read this as a card of marriage because it is like the card of an occasion a celebration so a wedding right and it is showing up with the four of wands so this person you know they could block you from the one that you're going to be with all right so keep that in mind here when this when this message when this phone call comes in of some kind of explanation because number one i don't feel like you're getting the full story and number two there's something much better out there so i hope you can feel that whenever whenever you're having this conversation or whenever this message comes in that's what i'm seeing here for you collective don't forget that i do have a sale going on with personals right now so if you're interested that information is down below in the description box you could also check me out on social media that information is down there as well <coughs> thank you all so much for being here i really appreciate you and i hope i'll see you next time bye